colon cleansers, herbs, juice fast, lemonade cleansers, even the way some people use coffee. Hollywood's biggest stars are doing it in the name of purifying their systems. Today on Deborah Duncan, it's gone mainstream. What do all these people have in common? They say their health problems went away when they detox their bodies. How do you do it? Does it really work? Next on Deborah Duncan. More and more people are getting diseases like cancer, kidney problems, and stomach ulcers. And our first guest today says that's because we are poisoning our body every day with foods we eat and the things we drink. Please welcome wellness consultant John Rose to the show this morning. Good morning, John. Hi, Deborah. Good How to are see you? you. Doing good, thank you. Okay, we're going to show people specifically some of the combinations of fruits and vegetables that you say can help alleviate or get rid of certain diseases and other ailments. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about your philosophy. And you say we should not be eating meat, that that's probably one of the number one culprits in many of the diseases that we get. That's right. Uh, our anatomy is not designed to eat flesh. Our intestines are too long. Um, if you look at the anatomy of all the plant eaters and all the meat eaters, our anatomy is identical to the plant eaters. So what happens when we eat flesh foods, it putrefies as it goes through the system. It takes too long to go through the system. Okay. And you have to pay attention to how long it goes through, because if it goes through too long, not all of it comes out. And meat doesn't have any fiber in it, doesn't have any carbohydrates in it. It's just not the best food for us. And what are the problems caused when that food does not come out? Well, we literally create our own personal cesspool. And this makes us smell bad and look bad and feel bad and think bad and even act bad. Yeah. You it's the cause of meat. illnesses and ill behaviors. I haven't eaten flesh in 10, 15 years. When so. you say flesh, it sounds so much different than saying meat. You haven't eaten flesh. And, and, uh, and the you, way that, that a couple of people who had explained it to me was they said, think about this. If you were getting a kidney transplant, for example, you have to take anti-rejection drugs because our bodies just don't like foreign protein. So, in a sense, is that what it's like when, you, when we eat meat, putting foreign protein to an in extent, our body? Yeah, our body doesn't like anything that doesn't belong in there. When we eat unnatural foods, there's two types of uh, mucus in our body. There's healthy mucus and pathogenic mucus. Mm -hmm. And the same way if we were to inhale a dust particle, for example, uh, our body would encapsulate with mucus so it wouldn't go down and attack one of our internal organs, and that way we could reject it later. Yeah. Well, when we eat the wrong food, we coat it with mucus so it goes through the body more like a mop instead of a broom. Okay. And it leaves you... that slimy layer as it goes through meal after meal, and that builds up, and it's why we all have bulging bellies as we age. It's not fat, or all fat. A lot of it's unlimited waste matter. Okay. And I know this for a fact because I, I found out about this when I was playing competitive tennis. I was exercising seven, eight hours every day, 50 hours every week, got my body fat percentage down to 5.8%, but I still had a small bulge down here, and I couldn't figure out why I didn't have a little 28 inch waist. Uh -huh. Well, now I know it wasn't fat. I go on a 90 day juice fast, and I documented 20 pounds of uneliminated waste matter that came out of my system. It blew you my mind. You are in a fast right now, as a matter of fact. I'm on day six of my 110th fast. Yeah. I fasted six. In the first six years of my research, I fasted almost 600 days so I could learn how to do this and teach other people. Yeah, and you say research, and that's what you base all of this on. I want to point out you're not a medical doctor. That's right. So um, I've not been formally miseducated. Yeah, <laughs> but you have uh, uh, the research that you've done, and that's what you you have based all of this on. Okay, when you talk about cleansing your system, right? You do several things to cleanse your system, and that to you, you have these pictures that, that you want to show us that is the proof to you that that helps clean out your system. We want to take a look at uh, mm -hmm. what I believe is a colon that has all this stuff that you say is collected over the years, That's the meat, right. lot of stuff, and then a colon that has been cleaned out. These are pictures of uneliminated waste matter, which is the residue from unnatural foods. The 20 pounds of filth that came out of me looked exactly like this. And I 20 coached, pounds? I had 20 pounds of stuff that yeah. had just been stuck in there for years? Well, yeah, you've heard the stories of John Wayne. When he died, they said he had 40 pounds in him, and Elvis Presley had the same amount. Um, most of us just don't have any idea what's going on inside of us. And when you do what it takes to get rid of that waste matter, you won't believe what will come out of you. Now, the pictures are up on the TV right now. There's a healthy colon on the left-hand side. Uh -huh. On the right-hand side, there are six x-ray pictures of actual colons. And look how twisted and bent out of shape they are. Yeah. And this is what happens when we put in the wrong food. It just doesn't go through the system the right way. It takes too long. And if it doesn't come out fast enough, it causes problems. Okay, right. we have Connie Powers in our audience this morning. And Connie, you've gone through a number of fasts for a 90-day period. Yes, I have. What was it like the first few days? And what did you feel like at the end of that fast? Uh, the first few days, uh, it takes a little getting used to not eating and things like that. but. At the end, I did a 90-day cleanse, and I just felt wonderful. Things happened in my body that I never thought would happen. Uh, Things like? Pardon? Things like? What happened in your body that you never thought? Well, of? Uh, for instance, I had a bunion on my foot that's hereditary in my family, and it went away. 
uh, my hair, my skin. Uh, and there's one very important point about doing cleanses. It's anti-aging. You're really 150 years old, we understand. And, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm 60 years old. You're, you're how old? 60 years old. Oh, well, I guess it's there is a point here, isn't there? Aging. It's, wow. It's, it changed my life, and I owe it to John Rose. Okay. Um, we have Marlena Thomas, who is in the uh, audience this morning as well, and she says thanks to uh, Juice Fasting, she has reaped several life-changing benefits. Good morning, Marlena. Hi, Deborah. What kinds of things have you done uh, in terms of juicing, and what has been the result? Well, I went on a 47-day fast, and um, after I broke my fast, um, geez, everything was just so different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A whole lot of energy, and um, my varicose veins disappeared completely. Varicose veins went oh, away? Oh, yes, a whole lot, right here after my daughter's birth. Uh -huh. Completely went away. A lot of spotting, you know, women, a lot of, lot of bellyache, different problems. I wore glasses before, now I don't use them anymore. Oh, that must have been carrot juice. Yes. Now, was it really carrot juices. juice? Yeah. You yeah. know, and we used to always hear that, eat a lot of carrots, it's good for your eyes, and it can, you know, It's make true, you... it's true. Carrot juice every day. I had about two, one to two quarts of carrot juice every day. And what would be the advantage of doing it this way as opposed to just um, grabbing a carrot stick and eating spinach? Because you can see this bowl here of fiber if you could see what all that looked like before we juiced it and then look at the fiber and the juice, you'd get an idea, well, we're not making our body have to separate the fiber from the juice. So when we drink it this way, we get it right away. Our body doesn't expend any energy. So basically our body just absorbs it? Exactly. It assimilates it easier. And that's the whole idea behind all seven of my programs. Okay. Um, Paul Rosenberg is the one person who corrected it. And Paul, you did juicing as well. What did you do juicing for? What kind of juicing program were you on and, and what were the results? Well, first of all, I had a problem with too much steak, too much prime rib, and too much red wine. It's a problem <laughs> all of us have. <laughs> and one day I woke up and I thought I broke my foot. I went to the doctor and the doctor said, you didn't break your foot, you have arthritic gout. And I said, what is arthritic gout? Well, I found out what it was and it wasn't any fun, let me tell you, it's extremely painful. What was the treatment for it that the doctor suggested? Well, I forgot the name of the drug. It starts with an A, allopurinol or something uh -huh. like that. But uh, I was prescribed to take two tablets a day. It had serious side effects. And I s happened to see one of John's info commercials and I gave him a call and I remember bumping into him at Whole Foods all the time anyway. Mm -hmm. And I went on a 10 day juice fast. And that juice fast thoroughly cleansed out my kidneys. And in 10 days, it was enough of a cleansing to eliminate my gout completely. I, have, I haven't been on medication ever since. Did you ever go back to the doctor and say, look, it's gone? No, I haven't. I don't want to go back to the doctor. Oh, God.